Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we're in a little place called Matoka, West Virginia. You got that right. You ever been here before? <laughs> I have not. You better buckle up here. We're, we might, uh... okay, it's a little dramatic. I don't think there's any too much excitement to this drive, but hey, we'll get on the road here and show them this little place <laughs> in Mercer County, West Virginia. Let's get on the road. Let's do it. descending into Matoka, West Virginia. Matoka, West Virginia, yes. Which was incorporated as a town in 1912. And do you know who it was named for? You're going to tell us. I got a feeling. I will. It was named for an Indian woman better known as Pocahontas. Oh, Apparently, man. Pocahontas was just a nickname and her real name was Matoka. Well, I'll be so darned. That's who the town was named for. Yes, sir. Um, population estimate for 2019 was 202. Always a small town. Their population kind of peaked in 1950 at a thousand. Okay, so it's always yeah, like you say. I mean, it's probably more vibrant, obviously, then. But yeah, because it was a terminus for the railway, right? So that is correct. Now I'll stop you right here. Out of order. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> stop you right here, and because there's all these gutted buildings here to the left, and there was a massive fire. That was back in, I don't want to say 2013, 2014-ish. Yeah. And it gutted the town and was actually found out to be arson. Yeah. So somebody set their town on fire, I guess. Yes. For whatever reason. But that's what happened. Uh, a sidetrack up here. But. Yeah. And we'll let you guys in on our little inside joke because this is real Appalachia. We'll keep it real. We're yeah. in Groundhog Day here. <laughs> because we keep having some camera issues so this is about the third or fourth time that we've done this so that's why i said he was out of order because i've said the same stuff in the same places i know i just uh yeah it's that, that yeah. Goes perfect one. yeah but there's that old school um they actually share an elementary school now with lash meat Okay. Very cool name, right? Yeah, I love that name. I forgot that I said that last time, and I'm going to forget this time. I know. <laughs> it's kind of harsh on the tongue, though. Lash meat. Lash meat, yeah. To the left, there's, or, yeah, the left part of the screen, you see the ATV Lodge. I don't know that that's being used anymore. I'm not sure. Yeah. Name must have a donor. Because I know this part of West Virginia is really big into ATVs at this point. Yes, moment. it is. Yeah, a lot of people come from off, away from here. This building here is really cool. We have an old picture of this that we'll yeah. share. I'm thinking that it probably was once a bank. That would be I don't know that for sure. No, it does look like it has all the makings of could have could have been that for sure, but there's a post office. But yeah, they uh those buildings were usually made made to last, built strong, yeah. safe from John Dillinger types. Yeah, that's right. There's Mercer County Sheriff Department and this is no longer a town, so the, the county has an office here apparently. Yeah, and then there. Hardware store, that's kinda neat to see. Furniture and hardware, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the um, the Matoka area was a southern terminus of the coal fields, which was served by the Virginian Railway, um, and then the Virginia Railway started in 1907, but most of the mines had kind of dissipated by the 40s, so. That's pretty typical of this area. That was about when it all started, a little bit after World War II. Everything started to slack off. Yeah. So, we 
I feel like you're like, I'm getting crowned on okay. Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, if this one don't work out, I ain't doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Church Holler Road. I think I didn't mention it one of the first 12 times. I mentioned it <laughs> half and half. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. We won't take that Holler Road today. It's pretty narrow. It looks like it'd be hard to get out of if somebody didn't want you. That's right. Up there. But... And here we are in the back streets where the residential area. And at one time, these were very well-built houses. But as yeah. you can see, it's kind of various states of yeah. conditions right now. Some look pretty good. And then some look like they haven't been lived in a while. Some looks like they've been plagued with fire, too. No. So that one out there on the right has been burned. Caught on fire, whatever you want to say. No. Um, so sad. I just hate to see burned houses. I do, too. Just... just I don't know. And, and a cool old church on the right. It's got to be discouraging, too, to live beside something like that, too. Like, you're trying to keep your house up. Next thing you know, you got a house that's burnt down and abandoned. And yeah. I really love this house on the right. It looks like it was really cute, but it looks like it just hasn't been lived in so long. It's kind of fallen in. Yeah. I hate to see that, but, yeah. Coming up on Barger Street, which I'm thinking was named for Captain Barger, which was the conductor in charge of the early Norfolk Western trains that serve Mercer County. And he is actually the one that organized the Bank of Matoka in 1908. And he worked close with the Matoka Land and Improvement Company. Oh. So. To the left is more of those burned down buildings you can see. And I said it pretty well gutted the downtown area. Yeah. Not that it was vibrant anyway. It looks like it's been pretty, you know, very slim pickings down here for yeah, the industry so right now. But, you know, these burned buildings really leave a hazardous area. We hadn't went up that road in the 12 times. So we could try that. Yeah, why not? Give ourselves a different luck. Yeah. Um, I've, I know with some buildings burning in my hometown of Honeaker, you're left with broken glass, loose bricks, and you just never know when they're going to fall. And hurt somebody or mess up your vehicle and so it's hard i really like you know as much as money as the government wastes it looks like they could send some money to these towns that's been affected by the loss of the coal industry to kind of help them just get a little bit of a standing leg to revitalize their downtowns and bring in businesses. Yeah, I thought about that for states. I thought that it would be great if at least one place per county it mm. becomes like an enterprise zone because yeah. oh, you can't save all these communities, obviously. But if you had a major employer in each county... Yeah, a good factory or something. Area, that makes yeah. a world of difference, which that's another soapbox to get up on is how they've moved a lot of factories overseas. Yeah. But, you know... I won't go in this. <laughs> yeah. And I know that not everybody agrees, and that's okay. We don't all have to agree on stuff. But, no, we don't. You know, I just, I love my area, and I wish that it could get built back up a little bit, you know? Well, that's the thing for me, too. I just want to have hope and, you know, some, some something for people to, you know, that they can yeah. aspire to. Yes. Versus having just really no very limited options. Exactly. So... But, well, what do you know? We did take a good little trip there. Our side us. Yeah. That was Bailey Street. Yeah. So I'll circle through one more time and then call it a day. Mm -hmm. Get on down the road. Good angle going down this way. Oh, yeah. That'd be it. So, yeah. And we love hearing from you guys. We love comments. And hopefully some people will have some roots to Matoka and some memories. Fill in some gaps for us. Yeah, it's always good to hear from the locals who have a connection and could remember when this place was booming. Yes. Alrighty. We've got a blessing box in front of us. And as many times as we drove through here, it's the first time I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't look like it has too much. We need to start leaving some canned food on us to... That would be great. ...to leave in these blessing boxes. I know, we used to, because... We're, we're so unorganized. We do have big hearts, but we're just unorganized. I know, we used to do that with books. I've got that children's book, and I thought yeah. about... We, I've done it before. I've dropped it in those... Where they have those little uh, library-affiliated yeah, free books. I love I've it. dropped them in there, but food would be very helpful, too. I'd love to yeah, give something absolutely. back while we're out here. Yes. We'll have to work on that. But... 
having said all that, that is a wrap on this. And I do want to mention the Bridge of Baptist Church, too. It looks really nice. So. It does. It looks like a good one. Yeah. We'll head on down the road. Hope this video works. <laughs> yeah, me too. If not, we if you won't see it and you won't know that Mentoka existed in our world. <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Matoka, West Virginia. I sure did. I did, too. It's kind of sad to see the burned down downtown area. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. especially when you hear it's arson, that's just always frustrating because a lot of memories burned down with that, you know? Yeah. But. And once a boom in town is now almost completely gone because mm -hmm. of other people's actions it's not cool i know it's sad and again that's what we, part of the reason we do what we do is we try to mm -hmm. document these things because you never know what could happen next and yeah it, you know it, more things could be just a part of history so exactly so oh well we hope you guys like this look and if you have any memories in matoka you tell us about it in the comments we love to hear from you guys and yeah. really appreciate it if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe comment share tell your friends family send a carrier pigeon out to, I don't, well, we don't care yes. as long as you're supporting us that don't matter how you do exactly it exactly right we appreciate you all <laughs> we'll see you on down the road